the early peaks we're getting at planets that are very similar to our own, it's like the next step in exploring the rest of the universe and seeing the most fundamental question, the answer to that question of whether we're alone or not. So yeah, it's a really uh, exciting thing to discover. Do you think, with your experiences, that there is life out there? There's a lot of people that that whenever you see something in the sky, you know, it's unidentified. I'm not sure why, but we, we hope that it's life from another galaxy or solar system or something, which is kind of a large leap of logic. We've never found any direct evidence. But the way I look at it, Emma, is life developed here. Uh, on, there's, there's no question. And the, the bigger telescopes we build, the more we see how non-unique the Earth is. And finding something like this planet, and it's not the first Earth-like planet we found. We've only found about a thousand planets, and it seems like five or six of them are pretty Earth-like. And there are hundreds of billions of suns in our galaxy and hundreds of billions of galaxies. So if, we, if we've only found a thousand planets and a handful of them are like Earth, and we know that there are, there are septillion planets out there, then the odds are enormous that, that we're not alone. We just haven't looked far enough yet. And and so I think there probably is, but that doesn't make me think every time I don't know what something is in the sky, that it has to be intelligent life. Now we've sort of had a look across our solar system. We haven't been everywhere. There, there's moons we haven't seen. And, and we've just had some cursory looks at some of the places, but at least we've had a close look at each of the planets and some of the dwarf planets. What we're finding is pretty amazing. The biggest asteroid in the solar system, we think it has more water on it than there is fresh water on Earth. And one of the moons of Saturn, it has uh, saltwater geysers that are, that are spraying off the surface and feeding one of the rings of Saturn. And even Pluto, which, which you would think would be completely dead out there, it's, it's so far from the sun, it has an atmosphere, and it has w mountains of water ice a couple miles high, and it has uh, nitrogen glaciers that are, uh, that are flowing. So, so we're constantly surprised. A and I think we have a reasonable chance of answering the question of whether we're alone or not just by digging into what exists in our own solar system. If we can just find one microbe, you know, one, one little fossilized bit of anything that's been alive, then we know we're not alone.